Beyonce and I a great wedding. Yes. <laughs> Frank and Sammy, thank you. We are on the map. All right, see you next time. We go off the map for the best chow in town. Chow Masters! It's time for a chow down. Yeah. Yeah. We're scouring Atlanta to find the three best unknown fried chicken dishes. Fried chicken! <laughs> and give one deserving chef the golden skillet and ten thousand dollars. Am I gonna win this? I'm so yeah. losing. None of them compared to mine. Let's just say I hate to lose. We're judging the fried chicken on two things: creativity. Stop talking and start eating. And taste. Ah, oh, birds flying in. Birds flying in. I hope you're ready, cause it's showtime. You mean chow time? I do mean chow time. I'm Sam DeMarco, a.k.a. Sammy D. Chef, restaurateur. And he cooks up some damn good chow. I've opened restaurants all over the world, taking comfort food to the next level. I'm Frank Karachi, and I love eating chow. I thought you make movies. I do that, too. Action. We've been best friends since we were seven years old. We were tall then. The same height as we are now? Yeah, we're just a little smaller. <laughs> this is a quest for the best comfort food. We're looking for new twists on old school classics. Let me try yours. Let's see. Okay. I'm just trying to get more burgers, that's all. Out. Get ready for the next Chow Masters. Rest assured, no chow will go on track. Today, we're in hot Atlanta. We're down in Georgia. Where fried chicken is everybody's favorite staple. The famous on-the-map places for delish fried chicken include Mary Max Tea Room, Busy Bee Cafe, and popular favorite, Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles. But we're going off the map to give $10,000 to the chef who's taken fried chicken to a whole new level. We put the word out. And the latter is spotted. Now we're down to three contenders. Contender number one is from a bakery best known for its sweet pastries. But its savory spin on a brunch classic is a real wake-up call. Contender number two is taking their bird to the sky with a fried chicken tower topped with three pepper gravy. Contender number three sticks it to the competition with his twist on chicken and waffles. Hot Lana, baby! This is a movie town. They shoot The Walking Dead here. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Gone with the Wind was actually written here. Frankly, my dear Franklin, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Another little movie that was shot here, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, directed by some guy named Frank Karachi. <laughs> <laughs> now, that Southern thing, man, they know how to cook comfort food. As far as comfort food's concerned, fried chicken has got to be top of the chow chain. You tell me about what you think the perfect fried chicken is. Butter milk marinade. marinade. OK. I yeah. mean, I think it should be on the bone. I mean, to bone me, in, bone in, bone in. I mean, and, but traditionally, yes. But hey, we're going off the map. Uh, I'm OK without the bone. We'll yeah. see what happens. It's got to be crispy, moist, and juicy. Stacy Eames, owner of the Highland Bakery in the Old Fourth Ward area of Atlanta, Georgia. We're known for our total comfort food. The dish I'm competing with is the fried chicken Benedict. It's an incredible use of crispy fried chicken, two poached medium eggs, add my jalapeno cheese sauce. This dish is so good, you know that I'm gonna win. I'm ready for some fried chicken for breakfast. No better way to start the day. I'll check out this place. Hey, hey sir. Hey, 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 I'm Frank. Hey, Frank. Sammy D. Hey, Sammy. Sammy, 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 Sammy D. D. Tell us what you got for us today. Our fried chicken Benedict. Sounds creative. Now we're going to find out if it's tasty. All right. I'm challenging you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Fried oh, chicken Benedict. Oh, nice. Smells nice. I'm such a fan of grits. It's all about comfort food. Yeah. You look comforted. That's pretty amazing. You would think it was going to be so rich, but it's so elegant. Just the cheese, it just kind of softly comes over the toes of the corn. Beautiful fried chicken. The biscuit is just heavenly under there. There's a little pillow of heaven. Be right, very, very elegant. You get me hungry. I can't wait anymore. Yeah, what are you waiting for? I need for? to start the day right. Get <laughs> your not? chicken on. No, no, no. It just keeps on coming, the flavors, too, man. Wow. Wow. I, I love that you took this traditional fried chicken, and it's kind of in the middle of this gorgeous, sexy, smooth, oozing kind of volcano of cheese and egg, and, and I just want to eat more. Let's go back and see how you do it. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. You guys ready to come into a real southern kitchen? Yeah. All right. 
I've had the chicken soaking overnight mm -hmm. in our buttermilk okay. and also some seasoning. Some seasoning. Mm -hmm. I see where this is going, right to the A order. <laughs> Absolutely. We work very hard to be chow masters. Ah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you come to the right place, Doug. And I'm going to budget it just a little bit more. And you want to just make sure that you get a nice coating on each piece. Do you have a preference going with the cast iron? versus the big deep fry. I mean, it seems so much more country-like. Well, I just have an affinity to doing it this way. Great. Going in. You got a live one. You know what day of the week chickens hate the most? What's that? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken looking, finger looking good. FLG, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jalapeno cheese sauce. I'm going to start to pour in a little bit of the heavy cream and the jalapenos. A little red pepper in there. All right. First, I put the uh, grilled biscuit on, and then top it off with the fried chicken. Now we're ready for our eggs. Finish off with the jalapeno cheese sauce. Easy. Oh my God! Wow, beautiful. that's pretty. A little sprinkle of paprika. Here come the grits. Yeah, yeah I want grits. grits. Let's say this is the ten thousand dollar fried chicken. What are you gonna do with the prize money? I'm going to put it toward a holiday fund for my employees. Wow. It'd be great to share this with them. Good. All right. Thanks, Chef. All right. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a way to start the day. Yeah. That was Ooh. amazing. She had her spice mixture in there. Single dredge, right? It was Light dredge, which made work. it almost cra you know, it was like snap, crackly, and, and popping. Here's the taste meter. Me. It's like candy. With a jalapeno sauce, it was just perfect. There was perfect. so many nuances of flavors that just hit on every part of your palate. So I think it was a fried chicken served up like you've never seen it before. Or was it an Eggs Benedict served up like you've never seen it before? We'll be the judge of that. Stacy's savory southern shout out to Brunch Benedict is top notch. But could a Moonshine Pub's Half Bird Masterpiece sweep up to $10,000? Share your unique experiences. Brought to you by Angie'sList.com. Reviews you can trust. Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. We've made hiring anyone from a handyman to a dog walker as simple as a few clicks. Buy their services directly at Angie'sList.com. No more calling around. No more hassles. Start shopping from a list of top-rated providers today. Angie's List is revolutionizing local service again. Visit Angie'sList.com today. Coffee is about to change forever. Introducing Nespresso Virtualine. Now coffee becomes an experience like nothing you've ever had before. Nespresso Virtualine. Experience the revolution of coffee. If you're like us, dogs and cats have always been more than just pets. They're part of the family. So when they need some help getting around, don't settle for less than the best. Give them Cosequin. Lots of brands compare themselves to Cosequin, but they're not. Only Cosequin is Cosequin, supporting pets' joint health for nearly two decades. Choose Cosequin, the number one veterinarian-recommended retail joint health supplement brand. Our vet recommends Cosequin, so it's the only brand we trust. Cosequin, available at Walmart. It's summer signature pancakes at IHOP. I can't wait to try these. Strawberry and banana cream pie. So good. Raspberry peach. It's the real deal. And blueberry cannoli cream. Whatever cannoli is, it's really good. New summer signature pancakes at IHOP. Get here quick. Look at that. I'm posting that. At Banana Boat, we test our broad spectrum sunscreen so it stays on in conditions like sand, sun, 100 degree heat, and ocean water. For UVA, UVB protection in seven conditions, Banana Boat, we've got you covered. Opening up a bottle of Mezzacorona Pinot Grigio is like opening up your life, one moment at a time, to explore, to toast, to relax. Mezzacorona is the perfect complement to all of your life's moments. Take your Mezzacorona moment. On Travel Channel, the new series, Man Finds Food. So it begins. Adam Richman is back and in search of restaurants off the map and dishes off the menu. And I'm going to share with you. Man Finds Food, new series, Wednesday, July 2nd, on Travel Channel. Travel Channel is heating up. Wednesday, July 2nd, on the new series, American Grill. Ooh, that's hot. Backyard grillers compete for $10,000. Ready, set, 
Each week, a new challenge brings new ingredients to a new city. You can't get any more Maryland than a blue crab. As four contestants get fired up. You hear that sizzle, baby? For the ultimate grill off. Time to bring your A game. The all new series American Grilled, Wednesday, July 2nd, only on Travel Channel. We are summer. We're on a mission to find the best unsung fried chicken in Atlanta. We're judging three dishes on their creativity and taste. Next, we're swooping down on a moonshine pub that's known for its late night scene. My name is Alex Friedman. I'm the executive chef and co-owner of Pachin International Bistro and Pub. My fried chicken is the best fried chicken on the planet. It is a semi-boneless, organic, Sprayer Mountain Farm chicken. It is succulent, moist, and juicy, cooked to a perfect temperature, served over top of a roasted garlic mashed potato, topped with our sweet and spicy three pepper gravy. It is always delicious, and every bite is always perfect. Pachin, baby. Pachin! Pachin means uh, moonshine in Gaelic. I like eating fried chicken and going blind. <laughs> The Chow Masters have entered the premises. Sam, How are you? What's up? I'm nice Frank. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Sammy D. Sam, how's Alex, it going? Nice to meet you guys. Excellent. Welcome, man. welcome. Fried chicken. I mean, it's iconic of Georgia. Oh, of course. I mean, you know, fried, fried chicken's like, you know, it's religion down here in the South. So in order to be able to do fried chicken and do it well in a different way is definitely challenging. So what do you got for us today? Tower fried chicken and smothered in our free pepper gravy. Wow. Any Southern person's going to tell you that it's not fried chicken, it's got gravy on it, which is why we're off the map with our fried chicken. Let's see what you got. All right. All right. Oh, wow. birds flying in, birds flying in. Wow. Enjoy. Wow. Jeff, what are you going to do? I'm going to go with my hands. I mean, I just, there's something about chicken. chicken. And it would be, look at that, look at that heat. Smoking. This I is like it. steaming. Steaming hot. Steaming hot. It's, and I'm going to be burning my hands. so good. At... Yeah. Yes. Wow. It's succulent. You're getting true chicken flavor. Yep. Really perfectly cooked. He kept all the sexy bones on. That's you know, right. it, it keeps it looking like a little perky. Does it change the flavor, do you think, Chef? Everybody will tell you that when you fry it on the bone, it makes it juicier, it makes it moister. But because of the way that I bread my chicken, it always stays perfectly moist. You got a nice blend of peppers. You got black pepper, the jalapenos, and the, and the sweet peppers, which really come together in your mouth. I'm going in, fork and knife. And that way you can get a, you can get a bite of each piece. This is one of the juiciest chickens I've ever eaten. This Now, this, this has to do with the slow cooking, man, I can tell. Yep. Because yep. it's evenly cooked all the way through. I do feel like the gravy experience changes it from the southern fried chicken. It absolutely one. changes it. But what you'll notice is that even though it's doused in gravy, it doesn't get soggy. You sure you don't want to try to pick it up by the bone? Look at that. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> so you win the 10 grand. What are you going to do with it? I think I'm going to take my wife on a honeymoon. Go down to Jamaica for a week or so. It's well, jerk, jerk chicken. chicken. <laughs> All right, let's go in the kitchen and see how you do this. Sounds good. What are you doing? I <laughs> He's eating my chicken. This is what all happens. Where the magic the happens. What going on? We dredge it. OK. Both sides, a nice even coating. That Whoa. is a happy chicken. And we're going to just drop it. See Ready it. for going the flavor? Going on down. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh. Shake that chicken. So now uh, chicken's frying. We're going to come over here. We're going to do the, uh, the three pepper gravy. Peppers, onions, garlic, saute that up with some butter. OK. And then add our homemade chicken stock to oh, it. Oh, chicken stock. Yep. Okay. No, no moonshine. No moon <laughs> <laughs> so the fried chicken's done. Go ahead and pull that up. Let's bring it yeah. out. Yeah. Give it a little shake. Woo. Shake, shake it up. Don't break it. Drop it right in there. All right. Yeah. So then we're going to tower this thing up. Keeping a scoop of mashed potatoes. Take our chicken. And then we're going to dredge this thing in a little bit of gravy. You did justice to the fried chicken. That's poultry in motion. Damn straight it is. But is it the $10,000 fried chicken? Hell yeah, it is. Yeah! Bring on the moonshine. Okay, let's do that. I Apple love it. moonshine. All right, well, we'll see you at judges' see table. See you at judges' Cheers. table. Cheers. Hey, the best chicken wins. That was a tower of power. I'm blind. I'm glad you're driving. And that's some tasty chicken. Nice, right. crispy skin. He had the roast garlic, which gave it that sweet earthiness of the mashed potatoes. His dredge was just wonderful, because it held up, you know? It was crunchy and succulent. I will tell you that I was happy. I thought you know. it was amazing taste, amazing flavor. I mean, the thing for me is, it still was fried chicken. It wasn't reinvented that much. Where he's creative is his different method of dredge, taking the bone off. The thing that makes it creative is uh, quite subtle to me. 
Stacy's Fried Chicken Benedict and Alex's Gravy Smothered Tower of Power are battling it out. But will they stand a chance against bacon wrapped skewered chicken? Three dishes enter, only one leaves with $10,000. Sunday, Spike showcases America's rising stars. Hold pork s'mores, peanut butter and sausage stuffed French toast, fried mac and cheeseburger. Hey, so what are we? Chopped liver? The competition to find America's next great food creation is here. It's a meatloaf inside the cupcake. Woo! Yes! Hosted by chefs Josh Capon and Tony Luke. It's called a bunless cheesecake burger. I know my! <laughs> Calamari and chocolate. Oh. Franken Food premieres Sunday at 10 on Spike. Looks like the Garcia's got a new car. What'd they get? I don't know. Sure doesn't look like a Buick. Buick, Buick, Buick. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Take a fresh look at Buick. It just might surprise Ooh, you. That's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Wow. This is nice. Oh, my. Enjoy the dealer experience ranked highest by J.D. Power and get 0% financing for 60 months on the entire Buick lineup. Introducing five all-new mini masterpieces from Ruby Tuesday. Try cheddar and smoked bacon, buffalo chicken tenders, or Philly cheesesteak. Starting at just $5.99 for two as an app, or $9.99 with fries and endless trips to our fresh garden bar. Only at Ruby Tuesday. When you're serious about fighting wrinkles, turn to Rock Retinol Correction. One week, fine lines appear to fade. One month, deep wrinkles look smoother. After one year, skin looks ageless. High-performance skin care, only from Rock. In pursuit of all things awesome, amazing, and that's epic, bro, we've forgotten just how good good is. Good is setting a personal bet before going for a world record. Good is swinging to get on base before swinging for a home run. Good is choosing not to overshoot the moon, but to land right on it and do some experiments. So start your day off good with a coffee that's good cup after cup. Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. I would never book a hotel if I didn't know the name first. Now, what if I told you you can save up to 60%, but you couldn't know the name until after you book? Yeah. There's an art to bake the perfect pita, and at Stacy's, there are no shortcuts. Batches are freshly prepared, rested overnight, and then baked again. That's the Stacy's way. And we're not messing with it. On Travel Channel, the new series, Man Finds Food. So it begins. Adam Richman is back and in search of restaurants off the map and dishes off the menu. And I'm going to share with you. Man Finds Food, new series, Wednesday, July 2nd, on Travel Channel. Chef Sammy D and I are on a quest to find the best uncharted fried chicken in Atlanta. Could a booze bar known for its drink list serve up fried chicken that's creative and tasty enough to win our $10,000 prize? Ten to Piedmont. This guy here has a tapas bar, and he's doing fried chicken on a stick. My name is Javier. I'm the executive chef at Ten in Piedmont restaurant in Midtown Atlanta. The dish I'm competing with is my version of chicken and waffles. Nice, thick, juicy chicken. Hot sauce, powdered sugar, bourbon syrup, applewood smoked bacon, a homemade waffle batter. All it takes is one bite. It hits every aspect of a good dish. Totally, totally out of the box. Am I going to win this? I'm so f***ing yeah. losing. Why'd the chow masters cross the road? You got fried chicken! <laughs> fried chicken on a stick, let's do this! <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's going on, my man? I'm Frank. Good to see you. Javier, nice to meet you. Javier? How you doing, my man? Nice to meet you, man. 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 Nice to it looks like a corn dog. I hate to say that. Maybe it I takes like that. something you never tasted before. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, show us what you, you got. Ready to eat something? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, yeah. guys. Awesome. All right. So just hit it. I do just it, baby. I'm, I'm gonna like do a little dust. That's sort of going zero. Yeah. Uh huh. The crunch. How's that? Insanely good. This is damn good. It's good. Come in. Good. It's a lot of fun. It's easy. You get your vanilla bean coming through. You get your maple wood smoked bacon coming through. You get your buttermilk marinated chicken coming through. I take my chicken. chicken on a stick. I'm going big on the lots of that. Come on, you got to go for it. And the hot, and we go in. 
Mm. Holy That was great. How was that? That's some new stuff, huh? I'm a, a guy that's all about condiments. You're covering the whole spectrum. You got the savory yeah. with the sweet, man. It's good. It's great. That bacon is beautiful. It's just subtle, it's, yeah. but you taste it in the chicken. The chicken's cooked perfectly, man. The chicken is is the headliner. So let's just say you happen to win the 10 grand. What are you going to do with it? I have a beautiful little daughter. She's nine months old. Oh, and, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Wow. I mean, I'm already planning her first uh, birthday party. Cool. I got to tell you, Chef, man, we want to go see how you do this. Yeah. You ready? Let's go do it. All right. All right, guys. This is where it all happens, huh? Yeah. This is it. Let me walk you through the process. Chicken breast, like I told you. OK. OK. We marinate. That's the buttermilk. That's the buttermilk. And the hot sauce. Hot sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, and onions. Very nice. Minimum of 24 hours. OK. We skewer them. And we're going to wrap them in bacon. Okay. Nicely. Yeah. Comes together. That's going to go in the oven. I have one ready to come out. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me smell that. Uh, yeah, the glistening so bacon. bacon. But I guess we see what happens when you cross a chicken and a pig. Batter. Ah, yeah. Oh chicken. Does everything happen? Make sure it's nice and coated. Yeah. Hold it for a little bit. This is an art. Hot sauce, powdered sugar, sorghum syrup. So why is this going to win the $10,000? Tell uh, us. Well, besides being awesome, tasty, and delicious, you've never seen anything like this before. Oh, Guaranteed. so creative. Yeah. It's, All right. it's a little creative. Fair enough. There. All right, Chef. We'll Thank see you, you for coming. Pleasure having you in my kitchen. All right, brother. Thank All you. Right, Thank you again. Good job. Paisan. Take care. Thank you for coming. I'll Appreciate see you. It. Ooh, time to do the funky chicken. <laughs> You did a nice chicken dance, I got to say. He was the first guy that brought sweet and spicy. We were eating with our fingers. Kind of brought back all the traditional things in a very untraditional way. He was playing homage to the corn dog in its own way. His batter that he made was just fluffy and light. It was almost like eating a fried chicken donut. Was that as tasty as the other two dishes we had today? I'm not sure. It wasn't what I expected. No matter what you dipped it in, it was awesome. Even without the uh, condiments, that chicken on a stick was juicy, delicious, and had a nice variety of flavors. So it's down to this. Will Stacy's Chicken Benedict with jalapeno cheddar sauce come out on top? Will Alex's bird fly the highest? Or will Javier's waffle-battered bacon-wrapped chicken skewer all and land a $10,000 grand prize? Get the party started with Frisky's Party Mix, Beachside Crunch Cat Treats. Now at Boston Market, try our new Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. A bold new taste for our St. Louis style ribs with the perfect amount of heat. Also tastes great on our rotisserie chicken. Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce, only for a limited time at Boston Market. I am a painter in Scotch Blue is my tape. I'm a painter, and Scotch Blue is my tape. Pro painters count on Scotch Blue. Now with advanced edge lock paint line protector for even sharper paint lines. I am a painter, and Scotch Blue is my tape. Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. It's a known fact that 100% of the saltfishes you don't try to catch will get away. Seize the summer with up to 40% off hotels from Travelocity. Go and smell the roses. Who do the experts at Colgate choose for their employees' dental insurance? Mmm, peppermint. Where can the innovators at Chevrolet get discounts on their car insurance? Nice ride. And how do those at Crayola, who brighten our lives, insure their employees' lives? They choose MetLife. Get your insurance where over 40 million employees get theirs. Take the first step at youtube.com slash MetLife. Every day, quality leaves the Bel Gioioso factory to reach every part of America carrying a variety of cheeses which are true works of art, handmade from the freshest Wisconsin milk and from authentic Italian recipes. Mommy, look, it's Bel Gioioso. Taste Bel Gioioso Parmesan with its sweet, nutty flavor, which makes your pasta, your salad, your soup really unique. Bel Gioioso cheese, quality never stops.
world you've been waiting for is here. Come and live it with an exclusive vacation package including early park admission starting at just $135 per adult per night. Universal Orlando Resort. This is the Anderson's new Honda Accord LX. Compared to a Ford Fusion, in the first five years it could save them $1,500 in gas and end up costing them a total of $3,500 less to own, according to Edmunds.com. No wonder the Accord is the best-selling mid-size car in America. Start something special now with the Accord. Visit your local Honda dealer today. On Travel Channel, the new series, Man Finds Food. So it begins. Adam Richman is back and in search of restaurants off the map and dishes off the menu. And I'm going to share with you. Man Finds Food, new series, Wednesday, July 2nd, on Travel Channel. We're at the Bookhouse Pub. All three of our fried chicken contenders are here, meeting for the very first time. Chef Sammy D and I need to decide which fried chicken deserves our golden skillet and $10,000. We got a tough debate about this. We I think you still have a little fried chicken right there. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, all of them were definitely unique. With Stacy for breakfast. I made our fried chicken Benedict, fresh homemade biscuit with crispy, crunchy fried chicken, poached perfectly, eggs, a jalapeno cheddar sauce. It seems like, you know, it's too much going on, like the chicken might get lost in there. Every part of that dish I was in love with. The fried chicken was, was just delightful. It was light and airy. All together at work in perfect harmony. You start to question, was the headline of the chicken, though? Was yeah. the biscuit the headliner? You know, so if you're I mean, making a movie, and, you know, it's... You're, it was an ensemble. It was an ensemble. Ensemble. Alex, Pacin. A, a little more traditional approach. I mean, boneless, deep-fried chicken, seasoned with our own homemade seasoning flour, uh, served up on top of a uh, roasted garlic mashed potatoes, and then drowned in our own three-pepper gravy. To take away most of the bones, I don't know how that works. That chicken all the way through felt like it was it was and just as marinated all and seasoned yeah. all the way through. That that was a bonus for me. So in the taste department, he really went he up. He really went up. He had an even, crusty, nice crunch to mm -hmm. it. The pepper gravy and overmashed didn't, to me, make it super creative. What about you? I uh, make some chicken and waffles on a stick. Going into Javier, I was thinking I, I, this is going to be the novelty food. Chicken breast, marinade, wrapped in bacon, deep fry in waffle batter, serve it with three sauces. Chicken on a stick? I think it maybe belongs in a carnival, not in a restaurant. The thing about Javier's dish that's a little bit intimidating is the fact that it's still finger food. It was super fun. It's all the flavor profiles you really want out of Southern food. You want the hot and the sweet, and he literally had them and side by side. And it was fun. The chicken was succulent and juicy. Mm -hmm. The bacon was perfectly understated. The wrap of mix around it, which <laughs> became the waffles, was delicious yeah. unto itself. But the biggest problem I have was it fried chicken? We're looking for stuff that's a little bit different, taking a spin on old school classics. And I, I gotta say, he took a spin right, on old school classics. This. What would the Colonel do? What would we do? There only could be one winner. I think I know who should win. I know who I'm gonna go with. Well, let's bring him in. Hello, chef. What's going on? Hello. Hey. So we came to uh, Hot Lanta. We got amazing food. It's about creativity and taste. You guys have all really delivered the goods. Stacy, you put together an amazing fried chicken in a way that we hadn't had it before. The taste profile all the way through was just perfect. The question is, was it Eggs Benedict with fried chicken? Javier, you came in with a really unique approach to fried chicken. You brought out the kid in all of us. The question I asked myself, is it fried chicken? But, you know, kudos to you. I mean, it was just, we had a lot of fun eating it, and wow. Alex, you gave us one of the tastiest chickens of the day. Flavor all the way through. Was it creative enough? That's the one thing we ask ourselves. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. The tastiest and most creative fried chicken in Atlanta. $10,000. The golden, golden skillet. Goes to... Javier. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's it feel? Awesome. Oh, it's amazing. All right. Hey, awesome. you delivered your own spin. It was totally...